Hey guys, this is Rue Paul, and I want to wish everyone a lovely Limerick Pride. I wish I were there with you, but I'm sending all of my love to you. Happy Limerick Pride! This is Richard Lynch, you're watching ilovelimerick.com and we're celebrating a decade of pride in Limerick. Billy, we are celebrating 10 years of Pride in Limerick, which is a huge achievement. Yes, it is. You've been there since the beginning, around the beginning. Yeah. Can you tell me how you've seen it progress over the last 10 years? The first Pride was in 2001, and I think that that was set up by uh, Nicole Dovey and Paddy Doyle, and I think there was some input from the Gay Switchboard Limerick. But there was a club called Cosmo, and there was a club called Yum Yum, and there was a club called Club Wild. And all of those places had a special Pride celebration on the same weekend. That was and in that 2001? Was, that was the very first Pride festival. Wow. And the actual very first Pride parade then was in 2007. And I believe you were one of the organizers of that. Yeah, I was. So how did it feel to take Pride to the streets of Limerick? Was that scary? That was, well, not for me. I had yeah. wanted to bring Pride to the streets of Limerick City for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. But uh, there were other people who were quite afraid yeah. of what would happen. Paddy's Day to the Irish Gay Pride is to gay people worldwide the same thing. Do you think gay people are aware that it started with the Stonewall riots in New York? Um, but look, it's a very contentious issue for a lot of people, gay and straight, and they say like, why do you need it, why do you have it, blah blah blah. Like the history is there for anyone to read it, so I think it's very important. It's just not a party, is it? Well, it, yeah, it, it it's is. A human now, rights. It, now it is the party, but it started as a human rights movement, it started as very political, and it still has that in its roots. So. Some people object and think it's a march or it's a parade, but it's a, it's a celebration of how far things have come. But what do you think we've achieved in terms of human rights and the whole progression of gay people living in society in Ireland? Well, I think, you know, Ireland has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Uh, still room for more improvement, as we all know, yeah. uh, especially with the likes of marriage equality that's yeah. still quite um, uh, high in the agenda. But I think, going back 10 years ago, things like this may not have been as out there, especially in the likes of Limerick. I'm not sure we understand how much work people like Senator David Norris did and other forerunners like the Gay Switchboard Limerick and people like that, you know? How much work was put into creating a society and what a struggle they which was to. tolerant enough for us to be able to progress a Pride Festival. Pride is about love. It is about love, it is about life, about acceptance, about people knowing that it's okay to be yourself. And yourself is you. It's not different, it's not abnormal, it's you. It's having the ability to walk down the street and feel proud to be who you are, what you were born with, 
and stand up and show everyone that you can all experience this. What does a decade of pride mean to you? Decade of pride, it means number one, Limerick has come a long way in the last 10 years. Number two, it's very important that it's celebrated every year. And I think the fact that it's 10 years on the go, I think a big celebration has to be made this year. Decade of pride, it's a big milestone for Limerick. Uh, we've come a long way over the last 10 years, still more to come, and still a big celebration plan for this year, of course, to celebrate 10 years and not just look back at the last 10 years, but to look forward to what Pride is, how it's going to evolve and how it's going to evolve with the city. It's amazing, really. It's gone from the start for, for being a club festival and a couple of nights into a full week of activities and a big parade, a Mardi Gras party, block party, um, great acts performing, it's so creative, everyone's coming on board, it's amazing. And when you feel that this progression of this, do you think it's also representative of gay rights in Limerick and how gay people feel about themselves? Well I think it's an opportunity for people to express themselves and um, meet up with everybody else in the community and really put something out there for everyone else to see and show Limerick, um, or not even show Limerick, show Ireland what Limerick can do. Happy Limerick Pride! 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 This is Richard Lynch, you've been watching I Love Limerick.com and we're here celebrating a decade of Limerick Pride. See you soon.